Audrey Landers is best known for her years as Afton Cooper in the TV series Dallas, but she is also an accomplished singer, recording artist, and composer. And Suncoast audiences are about to get a treat because Audrey is set to perform with the Pops Orchestra this upcoming weekend. Here to tell us about the collaboration are Pops conductor Robin Bell and orchestrator Steve Orich. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us. Thanks, I Robin. cannot wait to hear all about yes. this. Robin, let's start with you. How did this project begin? Two Veterans Days ago, we had a Bob Hope impersonator come perform with us. I remember. And I had heard through the grapevine that Audrey had toured with Bob Hope in some USO shows. And I said, I wonder if she would be interested. And we met for lunch. And it didn't take me five minutes to realize it would not do to have Audrey just come sing one song. I said, she needs her whole show. So we hit the pause button, and I said, what are you doing next, Valentine's? I said, let's, <laughs> let's do an entire show. And that's how it came about. I love that. Now, Steve, how did you get involved? I went to a Labor Day party. <laughs> <laughs> and I met Jack Barnett, and he said, you're an orchestrator. We could always use one. So we exchanged cards, and here I am. Oh, I love that. Now, tell us a little bit about your resume, because I know Jersey Boys is on it. And yeah, once you just yeah. any orchestrator. But, right, yeah. yes. That, that is a, a whole new level. So tell us a little bit about how you got into orchestrating and what you did with Jersey Boys. Sure. Um, I was a pianist. I was a music director from the time I was a kid, also a composer. And then uh, moved to Los Angeles and became a TV composer. And I was writing music for TV, but still one finger in musical theater, which I had always done. And an old friend called me and said, I'm doing a little show at the La Jolla Playhouse. It's only five weeks. We don't know what's going to happen with it. We'll just see what happens. And it's not a lot of money, but I really want you to do it. It's your job if you want it. So I took it, and it ended up being 14 weeks sold out there. We were on Broadway for 11 and a half years. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing. Uh, I think it's up to... 100 million people have seen it wow. live. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's the 11th, 12th longest running Broadway show of all time. That and just you, shows you never know. But you were nominated for a I was, Tony. I was nominated for a Tony. We won the Grammy also for the album. And it won the Olivier Award in London. And we have companies all around the world. Wow. wow. That's amazing. Now, just so people understand, explain what an orchestrator does and explain what an arranger does. Sure, sure. It's very confusing, I know. Mm -hmm. um, think of an arranger as like a concept artist where you would take an idea and say, well, let's see, I'll take this piece of music, I could add this section here, I can make it a little longer, I can change the key. An orchestrator takes a big piece of paper and writes out all the notes that every instrument plays. Right. Uh, now it's on the computer, but that's virtually what it is. So it's, it's, uh, it's a concept versus the actual act of creating all the notes. Wow, that's it's a lot. A, it's a huge undertaking. I mean, when I started this, as you said, Steve, people wrote them out by hand. I have stacks and stacks <laughs> of handwritten charts. Wow. It's un oh. unbelievable. And when Audrey and I were collaborating <clears throat> on what songs do you want to perform with the Pops, we realized that there were three that we needed to have specialty done. And when Jack says, you know, I live across the street, Jack's our board president from Steve Orich, and he did this with Jersey Boys, and I said, Let's see if he's interested in the job. So not only did he arrange three of the songs for us, but he is playing piano on the whole show oh as well. My oh, my yes. yes. wonderful. Uh, it's really wonderful. So how does it feel for you to hear songs then taken up to the orchestrated level? Well, it's really exciting because, you know, I've done on tour uh, smaller. Mm -hmm. Some were orchestras, but none were as large as <laughs> this orchestra. How many pieces is it, Robin? 65. 65, wow. 65 wow. pieces. Wow. Uh, like for the Bob Hope, I did a few uh, numbers that were... 32 pieces and it's mm. still huge but not all of my songs and quite often I would do a jazz trio or in Vegas it would never be as big an orchestra as that and so um this is pretty exciting. Oh, well, I we just are, hope we have a good microphone. <laughs> <laughs> we are excited to get a preview, so we are thrilled to have that happen. I want to tell you now that you can get tickets for Audrey's show. It is coming up on February 11th and 12th. It is called From Dallas with Love, and we are absolutely crazy about the title. And, of course, you'll be able to hear Audrey with the Pops Orchestra. But a special sneak preview coming to us right now. Take it away. Okay. <clears throat> There's a saying old says that love is blind Still we're often told Seek and ye shall find So I'm going to seek a certain light I've had in mind There's a somebody I'm longing 
to say I hope that he turns out to be someone to watch over me I'm a little lamb who's lost in the wood I know I could always be good to one who watched over me although he may not be the man some girls think of as handsome to my heart he'll carry the key Don't you tell him please to put on some speed follow my lead oh how i need someone to watch over me someone to from Dallas with Love coming up February 11th and 12th and you can visit the Pops Orchestra website at popsorchestra.org for tickets and information. What a treat. Coming up next we get crafty for Valentine's Day.